So, curation. Yeah, that's a very good question. <laughs> well, I think when I, before I started here, what I thought about curation was a very boring process of organizing things and setting up things in a certain way to make it easy to figure it out. Which is kind of true, but it's not boring. <laughs> the term is uh, borrowed from uh, maybe librarians. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's kind of like a museum curator yeah. who picks out um, kind of interesting artifacts, I guess, and takes care of them and presents them in the museum. Mm. Uh, so what we do is a little bit the same, that we, uh, we receive data, we go through it, we kind of get it into the, uh, or make sure it has all the information that's needed to understand what it is, which is uh, the uh, metadata. Yeah, and try to present it at um, the best uh, the best way to, to really put the data on a pedestal and show, how show it off. Yeah. Show it off. <laughs> Creation for me is setting up a system uh, based on standards that will help data from different sources to be integrated into the same system. And we as curators, we helping people to achieve this, so that people can retrieve data from all over the world. Uh, creation is quality control. Yeah. At least in our case, that's a lot of what we do is quality control. That's true. And another aspect that I always think of is putting something into context. Mm -hmm. Because having just a collection of something, if you don't know how it ties in with everything else, then it it's not that much, like, it's not as interesting as when you know, oh yeah, that's why you're doing this, that's why he or she did that, or now this makes sense as a piece of something, he's not individual. Mm -hmm.